because in Ukraine it represents one of the unique targets in the context of your regeneration, in which we have uh, not only uh, genetic evidence and human evidence, but also the opportunity of a in vitro model and in vivo model, which we can replicate uh, some of the findings. So alpha zinumelin is a gene, and then we have evidence that duplication and triplication of this gene are associated with the a disease of uh, Parkinson's disease that has uh, uh, almost a uh, uh, complete penetrance. This is pretty uncommon also for other genetic disorders. There's not only autosomic dominant, and then there is also an anticipation. So if you have more triplets, you will have a disease that is even uh, younger in thermal onset. So the duplication associated with similar onset, duplication associated with another onset. And there are also mutations. Uh, the, on the genetic side, we also have information about sinuclein as uh, one of the key uh, 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 genes that come out of GWAS studies. So it's independent information for idiopathic Parkinson's disease, so not only for genetic form. And then uh, when we look at the brain of patients with Parkinson, there is something in, you know, the, the brain that is so part of mnemonic, so it's a specific and, and presence only for most patients with Parkinson's disease. And other neurogenetic disorders, but it's definitely with Parkinson. And these are called everybody's that are mostly composed of uh, alpha synuclein. All in all, uh, these evidence tell us that if somebody has Parkinson's disease, or, or the majority of people with Parkinson's disease, they will probably have alpha synuclein. Now, if we can say that this could be a target of the therapeutic modalities, of course, this needs to be demonstrated by a significant effect on the progression of the disease on any modalities that act on this uh, specific target. So the studies are now running, some of them are in phase one, phase two, and most studies are coming from the research, research side. So only with the clinical evidence we'll be sure 100% that this is the target to go after and we hope to do that soon.